is the SSS similarity theorem or the side 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 similarity theorem, in which it states that if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. Let's have this triangle TUB and triangle C. Let's get the corresponding sides of these triangles. Those corresponding sides should be proportional. So again, let us move this one deductively first before the inductive is made. First, let us find the corresponding sides of this triangle. Let's say that UT corresponds to BC. Therefore, the ratio will be UT over BC. Next, we have AB that corresponds to C. Therefore, our ratio will be AV over C. Next, UV corresponds to E. Therefore, our ratio will be UV over E. Remember that this ratio should be proportional. Therefore, each ratio should be equal. If this is the case, then we can conclude the triangle TUV is similar to triangle C. So that is for deductive display. Let us have the inductive display using the two column rule. Let us prove the triangle DUP is similar to triangle CDP given that UT over PC is equal to PV over C and equal to UV over C. Let us have this table. First statement. Let us have X be the point inside such that UT and BX are complete by construction. Number two, let's draw a line through X that is parallel to C. So again, we will draw here a line Y such that XY is parallel to C by parallel motion. Next statement, number three, let's say that angle X is congruent to angle C. These two angles should be congruent by corresponding angles. Statement number four, angle D is congruent to angle D. Since triangle CDE and triangle XDY shared angle D here, then by reflexive property, they are congruent. So we have here two angles that are congruent from these two triangles, and we can conclude that Triangle XTY is similar to triangle C by AA similarity. So let us have statement number six. Since we are dealing with the side, 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 then we will have two ratios. Even BX over BC is equal to DY over BE and equal to XY over C by Definition of similar triangles. Statement number seven we will have UT over BC is equal to DY over DE equal to XY over C. So this one is via substitution since in number one statement we says that DX here is equal to side D. Next, number eight we have UT over DC is equal to TV over C, is equal to UV over D. For our reason, it is because of the given. Next, using the statements in number 7 and number 8, we have DY over D is equal to UV over D, as well as XY over C is equal to TV over C. How? By transitive. Since we know that dy over b is equal to ut over dc, in which that ratio is also equal to u over d. So that's why we have this one. Same as here, xy over c is equal to ut over dc. And ut over dc is equal to tv over c. Therefore, by that state, these two ratios are also. Next statement, number 10, we have dy is equal to UB and 
x1 is equal to b by multiplication property of equality by multiplying both sides by b to make the denominator equal to 1 and multiply both sides by c here to make the denominator equal to 1, leaving the following sentence. X, you can say the triangle PUB is congruent to triangle X equal by side, side, side congruence. So we have the side, 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 side. Statement number 12, we can say that angle P is congruent to angle X. I use the same markings to show you. And angle U here is congruent to angle B here by CP, CP. C or corresponding parts of the given triangles are congruent. Statement number 13, we can state that angle P is congruent to angle C by transitive property. Since we know that angle P is congruent to angle X and angle X is congruent to angle C, then we can conclude that angle P is also congruent to angle C. So we have here two angles that are to these two triangles, therefore, we can conclude that triangle PUV is similar to triangle CPP by AA similarity. So, let us have the following examples of SSA similarity. Given the triangle PFG and triangle HIJ are equilateral triangles, the markings prove that triangle PFG is similar to triangle HIJ. So this time we will use a two-column proof. First statement is the given triangle EFG and triangle HIJ are equilateral by equal. Statement number two, since they are equilateral, we can see that side FG is equal to side EG is equal to side FG as well as side IH is equal to side HJ and equal to side IG by the definition of lateral triangles. Statement number three, we can state that FG over HI is equal to EG over IH is equal to FG over IS by multiplication property of the one. Next, statement number four, let's have FG over IH is equal to EG over HG is equal to FG over IG by substitution. Since we know that IH is equal to HJ and IJ, then we can replace IH here by HJ and IJ as well. So for our last statement, now triangle EFG is similar to triangle HIJ by SSS modality. Let us have our last example for SSS similarity. Let's have these two figures. Let us determine whether these two triangles are similar. Let us have first the corresponding sides of these two triangles. Let's say that FD corresponds to AC, ED corresponds to AD, and FD corresponds to C. Therefore, FE over AC is equal to ED over AD is equal to F. So let us get the ratios of each and check whether they are equal. Let's start with FE over AC in which that one is equal to 10 over 14. From here, let us simplify 10 over 14 by dividing both numerator and denominator by 2. Therefore, we will come up with 5 over 7. Let's have ED over AB in which ED is equal to 15 and AB is equal to 21. So let us simplify this one. We will come up with 5 over 7 as well. We dividing 15 and 21 by 3. Last one, let's have FB over CB. So we have FB equal to 20 and CB equal to 28. Let's divide both numerator and denominator by 4. We will come up with 5 over 7 as well. Since the ratios are equal, then we can conclude that triangle CAB is similar to triangle FD. That's it for our tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next video.